lot about as we get the kickoff right here. True Boy kicking off to Franchise. But Franchise touts his defense. He likes his defense. That one goes out of bounds, so he's going to give the ball right away to Franchise at the 40-yard line. A mistake there by True Boy on the kickoff, but it'll be interesting to see because a lot of guys were saying that Franchise doesn't have the offense. What, what a way to start the game if you're True Boy, though. You, you come off a game where you're, you're almost on tilt. You're trying to get everything out of your head, refocus, and then you kick it off out of bounds and give Franchise the ball on the 40. Already some frustrating things happening that True Boy is going to have to fight through and not worry about and regain composure for. Yeah, I think that's going to be key for him here as he starts on defense. Great field position to start the game by Franchise, who runs this one on a second and six. And you are going to hear a lot from Franchise GG. We heard him from the other game. And uh, he is mic'd up here. He is a very vocal player, especially when he gets things rolling. Let's see if he can actually get that defense rolling this time. Yeah, yeah the quote I literally have from Franchise, he says, Welcome to the Franchise Show. I'm here to bring some emotion to this tournament and wear my heart on my sleeve. That's what he was doing against Mills. But the problem is emotion doesn't always result in Ws. So that's got to be his you know, number one priority, is doing what he needs to do to win the game. Franchise, very excited to be here. He's watched these tournaments. He's wanted to be on the big stage. He loves the spotlight, and he finally has his chance. Loses his first game, so he's trying to get a win here against the heavily favored True Boy Clayton. He's going to have to protect Andrew Luck if he wants to do that. You can't be taking hits with your quarterback like that. Not because of injury, like we talked about earlier, as those don't happen in draft champions, but because of that fumble in that tournament. Other handoff there by... Franchise Johnson. Johnson stopped before he could pick up the first, and he's going no huddle right here. So an early fourth down situation. And that was that J.J. Watt we talked about there to blow up the run. Going to try to pass it. Has a man. It's Pryor. Pryor hangs on to it, and they are going to mark him for the first down. Yep, and he didn't go deep downfield, but when you only need one yard, hey, that little drag works out for you. That's all he needed to extend this drive. He says he is one of the best here. And wants to grab the attention of everybody. Power O right. Entertain. Yep. There's another power O. Like oh. said, Williams finds a hole Let's and go. into the end zone early as he celebrates jumping into the end zone. And Franchise also celebrating as he puts some early points on the board against True Boy. And standing up, yells at him, let's go. True Boy kind of just shakes it off and stays focused. And again, it's your emotions could be good. It's good sometimes to play with your heart on your sleeve, but it can also throw you out your game. Sometimes you're so focused and caught up in that emotion, you forget at the task at hand and really focusing on the strategic aspects of the game. So he needs to keep those emotions in check, in my opinion. I know that's how he plays, but sometimes that could be your demise if you get caught, get too caught up in the moment. Can't chirp too much. Can go both ways, but he has reason to chirp right now. Seven to nothing lead over True Boy. 19th ranked series points ranking Nicholas Arroyo from Rockville Center, New York, AKA franchise GG. If you're new to Madden, GG is something uh, that a lot of gamers like to uh, throw in the chat or send a message to their opponent after they beat them. Just give them a quick GG. It stands for good game. And here's a handoff to Jeremy Hill. Jeremy Hill was less than stellar for True Boy in his first game against Evil Ken, but let's see if he can find a little more space against Franchise's defense. And even with Jeremy Hill, True Boy made some phenomenal cuts and showed some really good stick work with him in the last game. But again, he just, I think he's going to need to pass the ball, ball a little bit if he's going to want to have success against Franchise. You see Franchise saying, it's not happening on me, bro. He feels very confident in his run defense, and not drafting a running back is going to make that run defense even seem better than it probably is. So, see how True deals with it. Throw over into the flats to Green is caught, but shy of a first down for True Boy, so True Boy forced into a fourth and three situation. He's going to go for this here. Um, again, you need to maximize all your possessions, but he also needs to be careful because if he was to get stopped, 
franchise already in field goal range could make it two possessions. This is a big play for True early on. He might go. And motion right, and then back left. Derek Carr calling out some hot routes. Slot back, man in motion. Carr looking for Nelson and a great possession catch there for a first down. What a play, and that's something you see a lot in those fourth and short situations, AJ, is every, everybody commits their defense underneath. You see all these defenders run down to guard the running back, and that lets somebody sneak in over the top. Sometimes the best time to get a big chunk of yardage is on those certain inches, fourth and short type plays, because everybody's so committed to the short stuff. Great strategy right there by Trueboy to get a big chunk. So first and 10 now from the 45-yard line, 120 remaining here in the first quarter. Trueboy hands it off to Vereen. Vereen Ooh. finds some space. Shoestring tackle, though, at the 28-yard line where he's brought down, but another first down by Trueboy. He knew that was a close one. I think if I had Trueboy stick work, I'd even, I'd even be pretty good at the game, man. Some of the things, the way he hits those You players, are pretty man. good at the game, aren't you? <laughs> but I'd be really good at the game, I guess, because, man, the way he hits those holes sometimes is just so nasty. And I talked to him about that. I talked to him a little about that, AJ. What he does is he doesn't make the common mistake that most Madden players make. He doesn't hit that right trigger turbo button until he's in the open field. So many people, right after the handoff, love to hit the right trigger, and that makes it harder for you to cut. He's strictly using the left stick to hit his holes, find his lane, and pick up speed from there. And it really, he really shows the advantage of doing that when you watch him run the ball. Easier said than done, by the way. Very much so. It usually is. Another handoff here to Jeremy Hill. The base gold running back here in True Boys offense. He also has Shane Vereen, who we saw broke a big run a couple plays ago. Time Derek Carr with pressure from the left side throws it into double coverage. Bro? Come on, man. Yo, look at him. He's yelling at him, man. He said, Is that the read, bro? Come on. You know, I talked to him oh before the game, and franchise did say he was going to try to force his opponent into what he called some Stevie Wonder Dots. Stevie Wonder Dots. That means a blind read, and that was definitely a Stevie Wonder read. He didn't see either one of those two defenders that was by the receiver there. True boy going for it on fourth and two, though. Got him. Car oh. back pressure on the right side. Hill hangs on to it. Almost breaks that tackle. Brought down at the four-yard line. That's going to wrap up the first quarter. And that's the problem for me. If your franchise on, it's third down. You're capping crazy at them. You're getting all amped. But then the very next play, you let them pick, pick up another chunk on fourth down. If you're going to get animated and you're going to play with that rage, make sure it's focused rage and that you're able to execute when you need to. And that's on fourth down. That's two fourth downs he's given up on this drive. And I don't think the yelling and capping's helping him any, at all. Perhaps too excited, uh, a down early maybe. And off to the fullback. Wow, good hit. Who is Jeremy Hill lined up at that position out of the eye. No huddle here for... True boy from the four. Second and goal now. I formation, another fullback dive to Jeremy Hill, who is quickly wrangled right there. That run gets stuffed twice in a row. Well, we talked about it in the scouting report. He feels very confident in his run defense, and he said True Boy is going to need to find a way to pass, and that's where he's been having most of his successes through the air. But once you're on the three yard line in the red zone or the dead zone, as Scott likes to call it, uh, Things get pretty stingy, especially in that passing game. Let's go, man! Stretch play that he tries to cut All back right. inside, and the third time he is stuffed right here inside the five-yard line. J.J. So Watt. So fourth and goal now. J.J. Watt earning his money on that drive. See if True Boy can kick this field goal. He Let's does, go, so he makes it a four-point game. Seven to three the score now. Franchise leading this one. Group C. That one is fielded at the one. He's going to take it. Brought down at the 27-yard line. And let's go to Zach for a quick update on our other game. Evil Ken against Mills. Ken with the field goal to start it out, but Mills answers back. He's up 7-3 at the start of the second quarter. Thanks, Farrell. So a good game over there on the other screen. And we've got a great one right now. And there's the football out. And that is fumbled. Recovered by True Boy, And that is exactly what he needed as he gets that fumble on the big hit. Look at... 
Oh my gosh, he got murked on that one. And True Boy, you see how he didn't get too excited though. He knows he still needs to get in for six. And it looks like, I love what I'm seeing from True Boy's demeanor now. It looks like he's rarely called himself down from that last game. Let's take a look at these rushing yards right now. Franchise with 60 so far. True Boy again struggling in the running game, which he likes to do. Only 27 on the game so far using those that those base goals, Jeremy Hill and Shane Vereen. You'd love to be running better, but you got to make it work with what you've gotten so far. He's staying in this ball game early. True Boy motioning is tied in. Left then right again. Nelson in motion after the snap. Good throw. The ball is thrown out of bounds away from his receiver. So third and 11 situation now for True Boy. Yeah, the nickel blitzer coming free off of the edge. Would have been a sack. True Boy smart enough to just click in that right stick, throw the ball away, protect his quarterback, and not force him anything downfield. Very veteran move by True right there. Carr rolling right, looking for his running back. It's Jeremy Hill who runs out of bounds after picking up the first down. Out at the 14, but a fresh set here in the second quarter. Franchise is going to need to tighten up and get stingy on these later down, third down, fourth down. You're going to have to step up and make a play at some point, Franchise, because True is converting those time and time again. Doing a good job of setting him up for those. It'll be interesting here as Franchise stuffed him three straight times inside the five. So let's see what True Boy's uh, red zone offense can do against Franchise. You got to remember, AJ, there's some added pressure on this game between these two right now. They're both 0-1 in this group. Let's go, man. It's, a, it's pretty much known if you fall 0-2 in these groups, your chances of getting out drop significantly. So this is almost a do-or-die game for both of these competitors. This is very important. They both know what at, what's at stake, and they both have their backs against the wall right now. Close one so far here in Group C. If you're just joining us, we have True Boy versus Franchise GG right now. Four-point ball game, but True Boy with the football. Derek Carr. Open. Gonna run with it, swerves back inside, wow. dives into the end zone. Great stick work there by True Boy with his quarterback. Not the most agile player on the field, but he makes use of it for the touchdown. We talked about his stick work. Did you see how nasty that was with Derek Carr? Looking off the receiver, gets the defenders to drop back into coverage, cuts the, the middle linebacker, looking like Brady against Erlacher back in the day, and then dives in for six. Great stick work by True. You would bring up Tom Brady, yeah, your when, man, Tommy Ball game. When Ball game juked out Erlacher, oh, you think I get hyped during these Madden games, eh? <laughs> My goodness. Head almost went through the roof when I saw that one. Brady has the tendency to surprise people with his feet sometimes. He had a pretty long run in the Super Bowl as well. Speaking of Brady, two Patriots fans in this group, and True Boy and Evil Kent. There's a lot of Patriots fans out there, RG. They're a pretty popular team, but yes, uh, the two most notable for sure right here in this group. And with that, we're going to throw it to Zach for another update on our other game. Mills on the march. Carson Palmer, four plays, 52 yards, 14-3. Mills up over Evil Ken. Thanks, Zach. Another throw here into the flats by Franchise. True Boy now with the three-point lead, so taking those three points early. The smart move working out for him. If you're just joining us, we are in group stage action right now. Group C of the Madden Challenge. We've got Franchise GG versus True Boy on the main game. We've also got Mills versus Evil Kin, which we will be getting updates on as we go. Oh, franchise has himself in a situation fourth and 13 and he's gonna have to get the boot out and give the ball back to true boy again though, nobody likes to punt in madden but uh nice defense there by true boy oh wait uh oh you can't let true boy be in the open field he gets nasty oh my gosh he was he was about to get nasty with jj nelson but here's the thing aj about that punt this franchise told us the keys to the game for him what was it 
defense, defense, defense. It's what he believes in, so there's no need to go for it on 4th and 13, so deep in your own territory. So he punts the ball and gets his defense back out on the field like he had planned to. I like that. Stick to your strategy, franchise. It's how you win ball games. Franchise knows what his game is and sticking to it right now, but uh, he has a very, very good opponent in True Boy. Both these guys 0-1 right now in group stage. True Boy losing his first game to Evil Ken. The veteran Evil Ken, meanwhile, franchise losing to Mills. So one of these guys is going to get a win here, and right now True Boy with the football late in the first half. His True Boy's ball carrier vision rating is 99. <laughs> like some of the holes that he sees, man. So impressive. Very good with both the left and right stick. Using his running back. Another handoff to Jeremy Hill. This time snuffed out in the backfield. Only 13 carries, 30 yards. Franchises run defense is doing quite well. But the problem he's had is he gets in these certain short situations and True Boy's been able to convert for chunks of yardage time and time again. If you're franchise, you actually have to watch out for the shot play in this situation because True Boy has gone to it so many times. He is capable of doing it. Keep your eye on that number 86 lined up out left. He hits Hill instead. Shy of the first down, so it's going to be fourth and three. 19 seconds remaining here, and Franchise calls the timeout. Making True Boy make a decision. And this is smart for Franchise because if he can get the stop right here, he just needs a play of about, you know, 20 yards or so to get himself in field goal range where he can potentially tie the game before half. This is a big play, eh? Still two timeouts for both of these guys before the half. Derek Carr backpedaling, throws it over the middle to J.J. Nelson, who comes down with it, brought down at the 27, and a timeout by True Boy, leaving 14 seconds here. And you hear Franchise say under his breath, you're getting lucky, man. I didn't see any luck on that play whatsoever. Didn't either. That was a good read by True. And then once again, another fourth down conversion. Shotgun. For True Boy here, 14 seconds here in the first half. Now to watch 10 out for this, ball de game. this defender right here has been blitzing. Not dropping Backs in the off coverage. that time, throws it over the middle. Nelson, nice job with the grab. Brought down at the three yard line. And with his final timeout, he's going to have eight seconds to take a couple shots here. Well, at least one. Well, you have to throw a fade into the end zone. You cannot let your quarterback get sacked, and you cannot get tackled behind the line of scrimmage because True Boy has no timeouts left right here. I don't think he can run the ball at all, can he? Yeah, running the ball is way too risky right here. You have to pass. Carr, there comes the blitz into the back of the end zone. Does he get both feet in? Really? They're going to say no. True Boy can't believe it. It was close. Let's take a look at that oh, replay man. again. It was close. Here from the three-yard line, Derek Carr into the back. Looked close. Looked like his foot might have hit that white line a little bit. We ready? Hey, we go Radley. Radley. Zebra. So with five seconds left, he's going to try that again. Throws it too high take for his three, receiver. Bob. Take your three, Three Bob. seconds left. Yeah, think, take your three, bro. Take your three, bro. Shouldn't be that excited about it, giving him another <laughs> yeah, three exactly. points. <laughs> Franchise will get excited about anything. You got to love that guy, man. This, I do love the way he this, chirps at him. It, but. It, it, sometimes it's detrimental to your game, but to something it's about someone it, that RG. plays with emotion. This is questionable. Questionable. It's not going to happen. Questionable. Runs out of time. Points. And yeah, Stop see, that, trying me, man. that's the other thing is you don't want to give anything to give franchise a momentum. Look at him what getting himself want? fired America? up, capping at him. He's yelling at him. He says, don't try me, bro, but uh, he was open. It was just not the best throw. Uh, I think that mistake is definitely on True Boy, and it might have cost him. We'll see how that pans out. With that, we're going to throw it to our guys on the main stage. That's to you, Tyler. All right, appreciate that right there, guys. A lot of chirping in this one, a lot of talk, and um, 
This is a pretty good, good ball game right here, Rico. Absolutely. You see Styles make fights. Franchise has no problem letting everybody in the building know that he feels he's the best player here. That was a big stop for him. Or I should have said, True Boy stopped himself on that one. You got to take those three points there. You can't allow yourself in a game this close to leave those kind of points on the board. Yeah, a lot of chirping this one for Franchise on the defensive side of the ball. But AJ said nobody likes to punt in Madden. After watching these first two games, I think Franchise doesn't really mind punting in Madden. He's got to get an offense if he wants to beat True Boy. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm not really sure what to make of that last series right there. You know, True Boy has three opportunities to put it in the end zone. You think after the first two, all right, he's going to take the points right here. He does not. We're going to see how that plays in the second half. I will say for True Boy, he is converting on fourth down. That was a problem for him in game one. He's had success doing that. So with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the other game that we have going on. That is Evil Ken and Mills. Zach? These guys are duking it out. Ken opens it up with a field goal, but Mills was able to just get wide open down the sideline. He had this route consistently in the first half, and he was doing a little bit of chatter towards Evil Ken. Carson Palmer, we saw him lead those two four-play drives in under a minute. Mills up 14-10 at the half after Adrian Peterson for Evil Ken punched it in just before the half with three seconds to go. Evil Ken is kicking a field goal. He's going to make it 14-13 heading into the half, Tyler. All right, guys, let's go ahead and tell you about our Madden 17 Club Series. Don't miss out on your chance to watch the final eight competitors battle for the NFL Club Series Championship on April 15th. For more info, visit NFL.com slash Madden hyphen NFL. All right. Let's go, hear, uh, let's go ahead and hear from the man you've been hearing from all afternoon in the background. That is Franchise. He is down there with Drea. Drea? Thanks, Tyler. Well, Franchise, you heard AJ and RG say it. You've got to get an offense if you want to beat True Boy. What's your response to that? I just need one big play and this game's over. Short and sweet. Well, I want to ask you about your temperament. I know you're loud. You're making your gestures. RG pointed out that sometimes that could be detrimental as far as strategy and your stick work. What do you want to say about that? Do you have it under control? Because you're hyped. Do you have it under control? 100%. I've been doing this my entire life. Through every tournament, I'm battle tested. You know, this guy's going to have to get it in blood today. Get it in blood. Let's send it back to you. All right, thank you, Drea. So serious business there from Franchise, but uh, I think he lucked out a little bit. True Boy going for a pretty aggressive uh, touchdown right there with three seconds remaining instead of taking his three. Already down by three, so, you know, he's, he's calling him out a little bit, saying he's lucky, but I think he lucked out there, True Boy being aggressive. Yeah, in a game that th that's this close, points are so hard to come by I don't know why True Boy wouldn't take his three right there especially with the fact that he's not very confident in his team he doesn't really like the offense that he has out on the field no great running back or whatnot so to not take your points right there it really baffles me you got to wonder that franchise maybe get in his head a little bit yeah we saw him uh, in the last game also being quite aggressive I mean we'll see how it works out for him well the thing is AJ when you got an opponent sitting across from you and he's saying, go for it, go for it, go ahead, try me. There's nothing more you want to do than go for it and score. So you could tell him, hey, sit down, slow it down, buddy. But ended up working to franchise's advantage right You're now. saying it might be one of those situations where, uh, you know, Monday morning quarterbacks would have said it was a brilliant move if he had gotten the touchdown. We probably would have been saying that. But you can't run on me, bro. Doesn't pay off for him, but True Boy will start That's off this second half passing. with the football. So it works out okay. Still a three-point lead. You can't run on me, bro. <laughs> that's, what, that's what we keep here from Franchise. He is confident in his run D, and he should be. It's been playing quite well. Back in the shotgun is True Boy on third and nine. Franchise, Nick Arroyo, 25 years old, from Rockville Center, New York. Favorite team, the NFL Jets. Freeman with the grab there on that one. Brought down at the 32, it's going to be enough for a first down. And it's deja vu all over again. Franchise looking good on first down, looking good on second down. Yells at True Boy, and then True Boy dots him for a first down. True Boy continues to just set him up on those early first and second down. Running the football, running the football. And after that one is snuffed out, we're going to throw it to Zach for an update on our other game. 
All right, General Mills on the march. He's been using the sideline all over Evil Kenny. Punches it in with LaShawn McCoy. He's up 21-13. Thanks, Zach. So another barn burner there. Group C has been exciting so far. Can't wait to see how this all pans out in the last games of this group. Derek Carr rolling right. Throws to a wide open. Jeremy Hill. What was, where was the defense there? Well, what that was was a block and release route, AJ. True Boy rolls out to the right. Jeremy Hill acts like he's trying to block and pick up pressure, and then he leaks out into the middle of the field. Franchise forgets about him. Wide open for a big game. And you know what? If you can't get the running back involved through the ground, sometimes you need to get him involved through the air. Exactly what True Boy did right there. Franchise singing now. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I don't know. I, I mean, he's snuffing out the run on first and second down, but if he continues to just give up the passing play on third and fourth, like, what is the point of chirping at him about it? Yeah, he's setting you up every single time. He's going to run it first and second down, and then he's going to dot you on third. So, well, let, let's see. One thing that franchise could do is if he can finally get a stop on one of these third or fourth downs, he might run through a wall with how excited he is. He just needs to make it happen. He needs a pick. Pick six, force fumble. Watch left, watch left, watch left. Stop right there, stop True Boy out in the gun again. He's passing it. There's another dot. J.J. Nelson cuts inside. He's Touchdown. He's nasty. He's nasty. And when we talk about some of the best stick work in the nation, that's what we're talking about. He's Why like, yeah, if he doesn't got Jeremy on, Hill, he's got J.J. Nelson. The kid's like stick that, work bro. is phenomenal. Now I'm going to have to get up and play hard now, man. You see, Franchise doesn't even know how to act to it. He wants to cap at him, but he's like, how can I cap? Whoopsie! Oh my gosh, that was so disgusting. Even Franchise had to pay homage to that one. This kid, it's amazing how every time you watch him play, RG, we have a crazy mistake here. That was a... That was a... Fair catch from the one-yard line. So really big mistake here by Franchise, who's going to start his drive from the one. Oh my! The kick was not yeah. into the end zone. He fair caught it, Are you? thinking he was in touchback range, but he was on the one-yard line. This is terrifying if you're Franchise already down 10. That's the stuff I'm talking about. If you're going to cap, man, make sure that you're staying on point. You can't do stuff like this. Big dot downfield. Oh, man, I need it. And a nice wow. play. Let's take a look at that fair catch again. Let's see what happened here, AJ. My goodness. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Franchise might have just caught a tough break right there. So out of the hole here on the 31-yard line, throw into the flats, and then out of bounds at the 35, short four-yard gain. Andrew Luck is four for four today. Oh, that was a tough break for Franchise. Luckily for him, he was able to get T.Y. Hilton one-on-one -on -one deep down the seam to make a big catch. That would have been a rough way to take an L had he not been able to get out of that situation. Hand off there to Johnson, who's brought down at the 39. For somebody capping at True Boy for the running game. Only 15 yards on the day for the <laughs> Franchise. <laughs> Good point. I'm still in shock of that that stop that stop and go that True Boy hit him with with JJ Nelson. That was disgusting. He uh, continues to impress with his stick skills. Oh my goodness! You could kind of reminds me of another guy who's not here this week. Talking about problem. Talking about problem. I'm sure we'll see. I'm sure we'll Get see up. him later on. E oh no! On third and one. On third and one, how do you hold the ball that long, AJ, and now get yourself in a fourth and nine? Oh, no, Franchise could dig himself into a huge hole right here if he can't convert. This is big. Single back bunch. 50 seconds on the play clock here in the third quarter. Franchise going for it right now on fourth and nine. Andrew Luck throwing to a man, oh and God. True Boy hey, thought he hey, might God. have a pick, but Pryor hangs oh, on to it. That was a risky things, throw, man. but a clutch throw there by Franchise to pick up the first down. <laughs> Nice little dot there. I think he had a look. That was close window. Tight window, but he fits it in. That's why you get Andrew Luck. 
and, and one thing you need to point out is you see Franchise Turpin and he gets all crazy and he talks trash to his opponent when he's off the sticks. This is one of the nicest guys that you'll meet. He's so he really calm, is. cool, collective, so down to earth. But once he picks up those sticks, man, it's like Jim Carrey in The Mask. Remember Jim Carrey, he's the nicest <laughs> yeah. guy, a banker, real casual. As soon as he puts on that mask, all hell breaks loose. That is Franchise GG in a nutshell for sure. I am the greatest. He's saying he's the greatest. Back in the gun, second and ten from the 48. Four seconds here in the third quarter. Wide receiver in motion, Luck. A delayed route. Back pedaling, throwing deep. Dangerous. There's a man Dangerous. on him and intercepted oh, by True Boy. Huge interception there by True Boy to end the third quarter. With that, look at this replay, RG. He thought Grimes was coming down, and then Grimes baited him, goes back. True Boy clicks on and shows some more of that phenomenal stick work that he has. So True Boy takes over now on the 13-yard line, his own 13 as we start the fourth quarter. And the 10-point lead. This is exactly what True Boy needed out of the second game. And this is impressive because, like we said, True Boy has the worst roster out of everybody. Only nine elites on his team that ranks 16th amongst everybody. Come Franchise on, tied with Evil Ken for the most elites on his team with 15. That means every round he drafted, he drafted an elite type player. And True Boy just fighting through that adversity, building on to the legend of True Boy. If he would, if he would be able to get out of this group with the roster that he has, it would be so impressive, AJ. Nice little run there on second down, but let's throw it to Zach for an update on our other game. Already at 1-0, Mills is impressing. He gets the turnover, and then he goes downtown to Freeman, 28-13. He just picked off Evil Ken. He's got the rock as we approach the fourth quarter. Dallas man, Jay Mills, looking good so far today. And J Jay Mills dressed perfectly for this tournament. My dude's rocking sandals, shorts, a t-shirt, and a bandana. As comfortable as can be. Looking swaggy over there. There's a throw to the sideline. J.J. Nelson with the grab. And he has it. Out of bounds at the 34. So True Boy with another dot against Franchise. On third and 18. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. It's a third down conversion rate. And off again on first down to Jeremy Hill. 20 rushes for 44 yards, so he's committed to that ground game. Despite not getting huge chunks of yards, I mean, it is absolute precision here. Yeah, and when we talked about, you know, the keys to the game, we said find a way to pass. We didn't say you have to pass every single down, and what True Boy is doing is getting Franchise to commit to this run on first down and second down, and then on third and fourth down, he's finding the way to pass and getting his guys open. Fantastic game plan thus far by True Boy. Making adjustments, picking himself back up after the Evil Ken loss, and is in good position to win this game and get himself right back into contention for this group. If you're a guy like Franchise, you do not want to come into your first live event and get blown out well, in your second game. To be fair, Franchise did make the Patriots Club Series Patriots, yes. and ended up losing in the semifinals to none other than Voltarex, who we'll see later on today in Group D. Throw out of bounds there after the pressure gets through. So fourth and four now for True Boy. And the way he's been so savage today, RG, I would not be surprised if he goes for this one despite being up by 10. Yeah, I, I don't like this. I know you've been getting converting on fourth down, but Franchise is down two possessions. He's been having trouble moving the ball. I think you got to make a move the rock. But True Boy just confident with his offense in these situations. This is big. True Boy very aggressive, wanting to prove something against Franchise. And once again, a fourth down conversion by True Boy. If you're franchised, and if there's one thing you could take away from this tournament, it's you need to work on your scheme on these third and fourth down situations. The rate at which you're let, letting your opponent get first downs in those situations is not okay. It's unacceptable, and it's something he's going to need to improve in his game as he continues to this journey of the Madden Championship. Because remember, he is 19th in series point rankings, so we will most likely be seeing him again at our Madden Championship Finals. And I'm not complaining. He's an entertaining guy, good right. guy. But 
he's going to have some things I think he's going to need to work on for that. De definitely some lab work ahead of him. He's still in this game, though. Only 240 remaining just under that. The True Boy with the football. True's just going to let this clock tick right there. That's, it. That's what he's going to do. All three timeouts by both players. Franchise definitely needs a stop right now. Second and nine, Carr. The pressure comes through. Green with the grab, breaks one tackle. Does he cross the first down marker? They're going to mark him just shy of the first. So third and inches is the call for True Boy here. Interesting timeout on third and inches right there. I don't know if you want to wait until he gets the first down. I, that's what I would do in this situation. I'm not calling that third and inches because... Because you have the two-minute warning. You have the two-minute warning. Two minute warning. Maybe that's what he was doing is saving the two-minute warning. Pitch to Hill, uh -huh. who has nothing but room. 20, 10, 5. Nobody's going to touch him. Nobody's even going to smell him into the end zone. And True Boy takes a commanding lead. True. He's a beast. He is a beast, eh? That run game, he finds a way to get it open and third and inches right when you're thinking sneak. He tosses it outside, gets a big gain. You can't just bunch everybody in the middle like that. You have to be ready. That fullback sets the edge for him and that just walks in for six. Great play call again by True Boy on third down. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> so franchise now going to run this one out of the back of the end zone. That one looked safe. And he does get the touch back. So he starts his drive from the 25-yard line. Only two timeouts. As you said, he burned one of them. He still has the two-minute warning ahead of him. Down 17. It's now a three-possession now a three possession ball game. But remember, even though it's not likely that he wins this game, point differential is something that still matters in this tournament and in group play. So every possession counts. Every point counts. If you're franchise, you Big need to stay stingy. There. Thomas into the end zone for the touchdown. And True Boy not ready for it. Madden Definitely 17. wasn't ready for it. And True Boy, he says it, good stuff right there. He, he, he knows Franchise caught him off guard with that one. He, he wasn't sitting on the user catch. Usually something that you could pick, you can pick off if you're ready for it. But when someone catches you off guard, yeah, it could be dead. It. Let's take a look at that replay, RG. And what Franchise does is he clicks on, moves the DB out of the way. True Boy not fast enough on his click on. Swerves back to the ball landing spot and then off for six. Onside kick attempt is no good by franchise. Back to a 10 point ball game, but he kind of needed that. And you hear franchise, he's telling himself, I still played bad on defense, but now's not the time to think about that. You're still in this game. You're still in this game! That's why I said, don't worry about playing bad on defense. Don't take a play off and continue to fight. Look at this replay as J.J. Watt scoops that one up. And he is finally brought down at the 34-yard yeah. line. So that is where Franchise takes over. Wow. Doesn't get the onside kick, but then a forced fumble there. Huge turn of events. We have a ball game again. We have a ball game, eh? This is nasty. Andrew Luck. From the pocket, Side looking line. for somebody. He's got him in a box. The defender Andrew. comes in and picked off by True Boy. Ugh. Don't love seeing that. He says he's trying to throw the ball away, but he throws a pick Look instead. Look at True Boy on this replay. What he did is he wanted that wheel route up the sideline. True Boy went, manually took it away, passed it off into the deep zone, and then came back down underneath in perfect position to make the interception. It and if you're True Boy, what a way to fight back after a costly turnover. So huge interception by True Boy. Let's throw it to Zach for an update. Evil Ken trying to battle back against Mills. Ken now trails 21 to 31 after a deep throw down the sideline. He's got Mills in a fourth and one. We'll update you later. Wow, Archie, did you think Mills would be the top player so far in this group? Of all of them that we talked about beforehand, I mean, he did have a good draft. He liked his team. But I'm going to be honest. You know we don't have our official picks as the caster does. That's true. Rico asked me for my picks when I gave him my picks for this group. Mills was one of them. All right. I'll take your word for it. Check with Rico. I'll take your word. Oh, that's a tough drop. Oh, true. 
True just caught a break right there. This is supposed to be a pick six. But the problem with it is it's a big, fat lineman that, you know, isn't really used to making that play. Very fortunate that's not an athletic linebacker. Now that's pick six the other way. And then franchise would have only been an onside kick away from putting True Boy under a lot of pressure. But guess what? True Boy, another fourth down conversion. He's going to end this ball game like that, most likely. I'm very proud of Comes out in the victory formation so out of fourth and two true boy again converts and that will allow him to just kneel this one out I'm very proud of that young man he, he's been fighting through a lot of adversity he doesn't have the greatest team oh, he's gone through a, he's gone through a lot of frustration yeah. but he was able to regain his composure and get a big win against franchise and he's back in group c as this one is wrapping up we're going to throw it to zach for an update live look in at our other game yeah, bro. Thank you, Love AJ. Respect, a big time match I mean, over here. You see go. Evil Ken on the left in the Tom Brady you know? shirt. He's in the I Patriots mean, uniforms. But General Mills, we've said it, he is looking good. He just scored to go up 38 21. He's going to move to 2 0 in his group. And that means Evil Ken will be 1 1. He defeated True Boy. So that matchup going into the third game, it will be a big time game. AJ Thanks. So franchise GG is going to lose this one to True Boy. 24 to 14 is going to be the final of the final since tick off the clock here in the fourth quarter. True Boy needing win here in his second game and does just that. Big it up against Franchise. Nothing but respect from both players. And a big win for True Boy in his game number two in group. Yeah, you heard True Boy already saying to himself, it's going to be a hell game. He's referring to the next game against Mills, which most likely be must win for him if he wants to advance this group. That one is going to be an awesome matchup that I oh, can't I wait. Cannot wait to see it. Mills, of course, uh, 2 and 0 so far in this group. You said you liked him a lot. He, ha he comes in here, he's got confidence. I like the fact that he, he enjoyed the team and the draft that he had. Uh, so it'll be a good game against True Boy in that one. Uh, Evil Kin going one and one there. Now he has one more game ahead of him in franchise, just trying to pick up a win. Yeah, absolutely. The thing I like most about Mills is he's having a good time up there, and that's important when you're at these events. It's always important to have a good time. Let's throw it to Drea for an interview. Thanks, AJ. True Boy, congratulations. I know you're not in love with your offense, but you overcame a lot of adversity today. What does that show the Madden community that's watching about you? That this game's crazy, and you got to, you know, fight through everything. But this game's wild. Like, <laughs> as you can see, everything going against me this game, you know. So I got to fight through it. Franchise, very active, very emotional. What effect does that have on you as far as the dynamic when you're playing somebody like that? No, and I'm locked in. I'm not worried about what he's doing. You know, he's jumping around, acting like a fool. I'm not really looking at it. <laughs> I'm not really looking at what he's doing, so I'm locked in. Locked in. He is not worried. Let's send it back to the desk. All right. Thanks, Dre. Appreciate that. Yeah, 